We are here today to announce the arrest of 60-year-old Dwayne Keith Davis. Hey, Keith, Metro Police, come over here. Hey, Metro Police, come over here, all right? Thanks, buddy. Come on over here. So what they got you for, man? Oh yeah? yeah? Like recent? September 7th, 1996. This is what happens in my world. That was part of my world. My world just happens. Mm -hmm. But just because it was Tupac and I was attached to it, it was different. Do you feel like Puffy owe you? Yeah, he should I think he should look out. He look out for everybody else. You know what I'm saying? Nearly three decades after Tupac Shakur's tragic death, there has been a significant development in the case. Dwayne Keefe D. Davis, also known as Keefe D., was taken into custody on September 29th and formally charged with murder by a grand jury. His arrest has stirred up questions among fans, particularly due to Keefe D.'s previous claim that Diddy had put a $1 million bounty on Tupac's life. Um, you said you walked downstairs. Did he say, come meet me downstairs? Yeah, he said, come on downstairs and talk to you. Oh. He tells you, seriously, man, I need to get rid of these guys. I mean, he's looking at you in the eyes and yeah. he's like scared. Yeah. So in your opinion, the specific reason he asked you to come downstairs and talk to him was about that thing, not about liquor or anything. Yeah. It was about that. Well, okay. Yeah. You tell him, we'll do it for a million. And he's like, okay, I'll do it for a million. Yeah. He agrees, you shake yeah. on it or something yeah. like that. Yeah. What happened? Gentlemen, he, uh, like, man, I, I, we wiped the ass. Quick, you know, it's nothing. Who brought up the amount of one million dollars? He did. Puffy did. Yeah. Okay. Wasn't you? No, it wasn't me. I was. Take book for fifty. You know what I'm saying? So he brought up the one million dollars. Yeah. No project dudes that kill you. Fifteen hundred. You know what I'm saying? Could this potentially implicate Diddy in Tupac's murder? Adding to the intrigue, there are reports suggesting that Tupac's close friend, Mike Tyson, had suspicions about Diddy's involvement in the conspiracy to eliminate Tupac. Tyson's recent revelations have reignited interest in this case. So what exactly did Mike Tyson disclose regarding Diddy's alleged role in Tupac's murder? Is Keefe D's arrest the beginning of potential legal repercussions for Diddy? Let's delve into these recent developments. In a recent development in the long-standing mystery surrounding the 1996 murder of rap icon Tupac Shakur, there has been a significant breakthrough. Dwayne Keefe D. Davis, a man whom prosecutors allege had a hand in planning the murder, has been apprehended and formally charged with murder in Las Vegas. Keefe D., who is 60 years old, has been under the watchful eye of investigators for some time as one of the initial four suspects, was taken into custody on a Friday morning while he was out for a walk near his residence on the outskirts of Las Vegas. This arrest came shortly before prosecutors made an announcement in court, revealing that a Nevada grand jury has issued an indictment against Keefe D, charging him with one count of murder involving a deadly weapon. Keefe D's court appearance is scheduled for the upcoming week. Additionally, the grand jury attached a sentencing enhancement related to gang activity to the murder charge. If Keefe D is found guilty, this enhancement could potentially result in an additional 20 years added to his sentence. Keep in mind, Keefe D is not accused of being the person who physically fired the fatal shots at Tupac. However, Nevada's legal system allows individuals to face charges for their involvement in a crime, including murder, even if they did not directly commit the act. According to Las Vegas Police Homicide Lieutenant Jason Johansson, Keefe D was the one orchestrating the plan for the group of individuals responsible for carrying out this crime, thus making him the shot cop in this tragic event. I first shot at you. Big boy in the head, I thought he was dead. Like, damn, he's dead. And they didn't even get a chase to make it so bad. Some bras gave a chase. They got their little windshield shot out. And 
was over with after that. However, there's another significant claim made by Keefe D in his interviews that has the potential to draw police attention to Diddy regarding his alleged involvement in Tupac's murder. With Mike Tyson now seemingly corroborating this connection, the internet is buzzing with speculation that we might witness a downfall for Diddy as well. To provide some context, Tupac and Mike share a close relationship. In a candid interview with DJ Vlad, Mike disclosed that he had encouraged Tupac to attend his match against Bruce Seldon in Las Vegas on September 7th, 1996. Tragically, it was on that fateful night that Tupac was shot, and Mike expressed profound regret, wishing that he could have arrived earlier to possibly prevent Tupac's untimely death. I feel a little guilty about him coming to the fight me pressuring him for the day. Hey, bring the tape, don't forget the tape, you know? And I was gonna go out with him that night. I promised to go to 662 with him that night. But I just had a little baby and her mother was um, provoking me to stay home. So I stayed with the baby and then someone called me that night and told me that happened. And, I'm just... and Mike's involvement in all of this is pure chaos. Mike Tyson had previously issued a public warning to Tupac's assailants and openly expressed his strong desire to confront them. Given Mike's reported animosity towards Diddy, there is a growing belief that Mike possesses knowledge indicating Diddy's involvement in the conspiracy to assassinate Tupac. Additionally, it's worth noting that LAPD detective Greg Kading, during his extensive investigation into the murders of Tupac and Biggie Smalls, unearthed information that connected both cases. Kading went on record claiming that the police had evidence suggesting that Diddy had ordered both hits, a claim that Keefe D later confirmed in his interviews. These developments have raised significant questions and cast a shadow of suspicion over Diddy's role in the tragic events surrounding Tupac's murder. What's even more insane is that now that the plot has taken another twist, as Keefe D has now pointed to his own nephew as the one responsible for Tupac Shakur's murder, adding weight to Keefe D's assertion is the testimony of an informant back in 1997 who informed investigators that Puffy had allegedly contracted the Southside Crips to carry out hits on both Suge and Tupac. This informant claimed that the person who had attacked the MGM Grand was part of the group responsible for the assassination and that originally the plan had to be carried out at the Sus Vegas nightclub, but they decided to act immediately instead of waiting. Remarkably, this aligns with the same narrative that Keefe D shared with the public a decade later. That was this documentary that claimed, which we know wasn't true. Yeah, yeah, check this out. We don't we don't talk about um things that are that are nonsense. We don't even entertain nonsense, my brother. So we not even gonna even go there with all due respect, but I appreciate you as a journalist asking. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, seven years ago, I'd have been like, yo, did you hire somebody to kill Pac? But no, you do it like a journalist. Yeah, yeah, no, I mean, I, we wouldn't even get into nonsense like that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's nonsense. Which we never believed, by the way. Yeah, thank you. It's essential to note that Diddy has consistently denied any involvement in Tupac's murder, vehemently dismissing such claims as baseless and refusing to comment on the matter. The evolving developments and conflicting accounts in this long-standing mystery continues to captivate public attention and raise pressing questions about the true events surrounding Tupac's tragic death. The delay in Keefe D's arrest, despite his open confessions and and willingness to discuss his involvement in public has left many puzzled. Fans are now speculating that authorities might have been waiting for Keefe D to potentially provide information about the alleged mastermind behind Tupac's murder. For a long time, the prevailing theory suggested that Tupac's killing was a result of his altercation with Orlando Anderson, a Southside Crip gang member and Keefe D's nephew, following the Mike Tyson fight in Las Vegas. Many believe that the stories surrounding Diddy's purported $1 million offer were exaggerated, with some suggesting that Diddy's announcement of the bounty was more of a provocative gesture than an actual order to carry out a hit. Both Orlando and Keefe D had connections to Diddy and Biggie and worked as security for them. Diddy reportedly trusted Keefe D because he believed Keefe D was among the few individuals from Compton that Suge Knight wouldn't confront. The altercation between Tupac and Orlando allegedly began because Orlando had allegedly stolen a death row chain from Trayvon Lane, a death row affiliate and 
reported gang member. Diddy was reportedly planning to use the chain to taunt Suge Knight in a music video. Thus, Tupac's murder could potentially be seen as a tragic outcome of a heated situation where all parties were acquainted. Tupac's assault on one of Diddy's associates escalated into a fatal shooting, underlining the complex web of relationships and events that surrounded this tragic event. You know, some fans out there are still convinced that Tupac's murder wasn't just some random thing. They think that Diddy's offer of a cool $1 million to Keefe D for taking out Suge and Tupac was the real deal. Now, when Keefe D talked about this in interviews, he kind of downplayed Diddy's involvement, making it sound like Diddy was just talking big without really meaning it. But here's the twist. Keefe D's been arrested and charged recently, and folks are starting to wonder if the authorities have found something to link Diddy to Tupac's murder. In the past, Keefe D said he got that one million, but he couldn't talk to Diddy after Tupac's death, leaving it all in this he said, she said zone with no hard evidence. But now, word on the street is that there might be some evidence suggesting that Diddy funneled money through a middleman named Eric Von Zip. And Keefe D mentioned before that Von Zip used that cash to open a nightclub instead of passing it along to the Crips. Up until now, the authorities didn't really have anything concrete connecting Diddy to Tupac's murder. So with Keefe D's arrest, it's got folks wondering if the cops have dug up something new that could point the finger at Diddy. There's even a buzz that Keefe D might be thinking about spilling the beans. Now, when it comes to Mike Tyson's reaction, there's talk he thinks that police are using Keefe D as leverage to get to Diddy. Some fans are hoping Diddy will have to answer for his alleged role in Tupac's death, while others think he's too big to fall. The whole thing just keeps getting more and more intriguing by the day. And there are a lot of unanswered questions about what really went down back then. So what do you think? Comment down below and let us know. And if you like this video, click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be the first to see my next video. I post updates like this every week where I uncover the secrets of your favorite celebrities.